Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Master of Poseidon a uh, Master of Atlantis Poseidon. As we are continuing with our Enlighten the West adventure. In last episode we founded the colony of Copan and we met an well quite familiar old friend who was telling little lies to our new friends the Mayans. Uh, with that being set straight, we are returning to Arthok, because apparently it requires some attention. If Arthok is to become a center of exploration, it must grow larger and more prosperous. Unfortunately, the land around the city isn't very fertile, and Arthok will never become a mighty city unless some alternate sources of food and other necessities can be found. Thankfully, the gods provide for those who cannot provide for themselves. Athena. Demeter and Dionysus all crave your worship and have promised to enrich the land if you build sanctuaries for them. Of course, immortal King Atlas has always enjoyed putting things together, and he will gladly help you build the sanctuaries for the other gods if you first build one to honor him. Well, we already done that. I don't think that will be a very big problem. So... Um, sanctuaries it is. Uh, we have 28 marmals, so we should start with the mater. It gives us fertile land. Just straight up fertile land. I don't think we should give her enough space. I think it will give... Fertile land all around, but I'm not sure about the amount of tiles. Does it, uh, oh, we do have farms over here, don't we? Yes. Right, that would be a very nice. We do. We have. No, we don't have any. Um, these guys. Life doesn't have to be unpleasant. Work at me and find out. We have marmol. Yes, we have 22 marmol, so let's get the growth of Dionysus. Oh, over here, I guess. Worship me! Coming forth from my father's head was no mean feat. No, what I want, actually, is point. Yeah, that can. Like that. Gonna build Arbor of Athena. Yes, over here ish. Yeah, so, yeah, I think we can do so. That. And that is what I mean. Gonna be able to build these sanctuaries pretty cheap. Because Atlas will provide well all of the resources. That's a little bit disappointing, but it's what it is. I'd love to help you with your construction. 
construction project. Right. So I said the slabs, the slabs of marble. Spatch, spatch those marble. Olive trees, we have quite enough olive trees. That should do a lot of stuff though. I thought it would be more, but apparently it isn't. It's free place, I barely built a sanctuary of the meat because it's not necessary. Uh, why did we not? Oh, yeah. Garden of the Meter is ready. With my blessing, farms will yield a bumper crop. You see, and it gives fertile land straight around it, which is pretty good. I think I have enough food because I have been I've not been saving up a lot, but the farms do give me enough food to provide for my people. I think I need another um, some more people around, so I think I'm gonna build one over here. This set this straight. Uh, I'm want to see what I can fit it in here. That would be nice, actually. And this one I need. Can I put four houses in here? Yes, I can, but do it right. Just like that. This seems great. Get a common Angora over here. Build some of these. Deal with them. Let me place stacks straight away and some science. On the other side, we need storage area. I'm gonna build one maintenance shop. And an olive press. I'd love to help you with your construction project. There's something going wrong. Uh, just fleece. Empty this one. Right. Yes. Good. And fleece on the go.
only have more monuments. Uh, inventors workshop and laboratory. What we're going to do is we're going to build some more Grover's Lodge. Definitely need them. And we need to use a winery in here. Allowing us to fill up this winery at last. Marble, what do you want? You want please and wine, you want olive oil. Is there anyone who wants my marble? No, it's quite unfortunate. So we're producing quite a lot. Alright. Might need a few farms. Uh -huh. Undo that. Might need some food. Um, slowly but surely, we are getting less and less food everywhere. So let's prevent that. Are looking pretty good over here. I like that. Can go straight on to the next. Uh... Next, next map. I'm not going to do that yet. Want to make sure we have a good amount of people, and even better in the stream. I want to invest in some. Of course, we need uh, lost science over here.
Should be able to support almost 4,000 people, so... Yes, we should be alright. We have a hundred people, which means that we're going to do something else. I want my... I want to be, be prepared for our, everything. I'm gonna make... Um... I'm gonna make some bridges. I think this side is better for... suited for that. Two frigates ready to go. Maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Will be all right, I guess. Oh, of course, we don't have any armor. We don't need to afford can we can produce armor. So we need our colony. Copan. Yes, that should provide us with bronze. Wine, because we don't need to wine. Don't need that much that either. We go to our industry, which is also not over here. We only have one industry. Uh, would be nice to put the armories nearby the palace, where they should be. We almost need a hundred people. Will I be able to get that people on this side? I think I will. Like that. Quite easily you would get third fragrance. Three thousand people nuts. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? How do we suddenly have so much people on a point? I think I'm not gonna risk anything, so I'm gonna increase my food production. And also... Some more Grover's Lodges. Is this going? Too many people. Oh, not that much for as much. Once to use some more all of presses. Right, that should do the trick. They need more armor. 
that will be delivered very soon. Alright. Uh, what do we export over here? I don't think anything. I'm not sure why we do have him. Maybe for the export wood, import of import of sculptures. That's it. Import sculptures over here. I said before, I want to make this the art trade area. Let's find out whether we can do some more trading. Armor and scope, not that interesting. Import oranges, not necessary. Wood, armor, wheat, import wheat, and wine. No, don't need, don't actually need them. Uh, since we do have the people, I would like to keep them. Let's see. Uh, I think three more pairs. Put one last. I would be able to if I just moved the road a little bit. Import orc, hawk, organs, no. Import fleas. I do want to make sure I have enough fleas in my disposal. And I'm a little bit hesitant to sell my olive oil. I don't think I can make sculptures. Yes, I can actually. All right, so that's nice to know. But yet again, I need people. And then, except, rather withdraw in in farms. And have one instead of two. Yes, that's better. Right. That being said, this seems like a good moment to end our episode. So we will. What beautiful sights there are to see in autumn. Massive sanctuaries grace the city, reminding all of the grandeur of the gods. Of course, the gods themselves are frequent visitors and a joy to gaze upon. Who could be sad when Athena, with her brisk, efficient march, blesses olive presses and growers' lodges? And Demeter, with her overflowing basket, is truly a vision to behold. Then there's Dionysus, majestically stumbling as only he can. Toasting the health of all the people he passes. Yeah, Truly, great. Truly, Autoc is a wonderful place. But your explorations are not yet done, and you must once again leave Autoc in the hands of Plexore and build a new city in a far-off land. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If indeed you did, I want, I want to leave here, and I want to thank you, uh, 
um, for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon in another video of Master of Atlantis Poseidon. But until we meet each other again, I say to all of you, goodbye.